the erratic behaviour of tropical cyclone Ian continues as it moves closer to Tonga's northern islands. The most powerful storm to have hit the island in half a century. It increased in intensity later in the day and was restored to the most severe rating of Category 5. By today, there were reports of houses destroyed and trees flattened across the island chain. Little is left standing on the worst hit islands of Haapai. The storm destroyed homes, ripping roofs from a number of buildings in the well-populated northern islands of Tonga. That storm brought with it wind gusts of up to 250 kilometres per hour. Officials in Tonga have confirmed one person has been killed as a result of tropical cyclone Ian, but they're unable to say if the death toll is likely to rise. The Ha'apai Islands, what used to be home to over 8,000 people, is now in a state of emergency, with hardly anything left for living. 70% of people's homes have been completely damaged, with the remaining 30% of homes having experienced moderate or severe damage. Thousands of people left homeless and lingering above rubble and debris on what once was their home. The most horrible thing was the noise we heard. And nobody knows if the others alive or they. And please, um, if you have any help or help this poor island, and the kids and our families are around here. This is the situation here. We, I think in the next two months or next month or maybe two weeks, we need a lot of help. Please help. That's all I can say. And the most lovely people in the world. And just please help them. Although communication, water and power systems are slowly being put back into place in most areas, the Red Cross says there are now serious concerns about the spread of waterborne illnesses. Even with tons of water being donated to Ha'apai, clean drinking water is slowly running out as the supply tries to cater to the population of over 8,000 homeless people. With average temperatures of 29 degrees, mosquitoes and insects are becoming a problem, and the smell of rotting vegetation, stagnant water, and sewage are unfortunately starting and through this, the spread of diseases will also increase. With the widespread fear of a disease outbreak, the one safe haven in Ha'apai is also a victim of the wrath of Cyclone Ian. New Ui Hospital received extensive damage to the hospital itself and to the hospital's infrastructure. Cyclone Ian ripped off the entire roof of one of the hospital's wings, leaving the operating room, laboratory, pharmacy and storage rooms completely destroyed. The chief medical officer at New Ui Hospital in Ha'apai, Dr. Tevita Vakasiwola, revealed that a lot of the equipment was damaged during the cyclone and the equipment that was barely working is now completely broken. On a daily basis, the hospital is treating the victims of Cyclone Ian to the best of their abilities with the little they do have. And at the moment, um, we lack of staff now. We have to work 12 hours each shift now, and the water, we have no water now and no light. The people of Ha'apai are in dire need of medical supplies and a safe, clean hospital that is able to cater to all of the diseases that are bound to happen. Help us rebuild what was known as the healing shelter and the birthplace of many. Help us rebuild New Ui Hospital. Help Ha'apai.